Starting off our ultimate football guide preview with the UTEP Miners. Joining me now, head coach Dana Dimmel, quarterback Gavin Hardison. First of all, guys, thank you so much for being here. Seven and six last season, the first bowl appearance since 2014 for the Miners coach. Great season last year. What comes with that, though, is a lot higher expectations for this 2022 season. Do you feel like that's fair for your football team entering year five? Well, we should always expect to win now. You know, that's the big thing. But we just take it one game at a time right now, Colin. You know, for us to look at the big picture, we start the season with a really tough seven-game stretch without a break, and we play in zero week, which is going to be, you know, a conference game in zero week. So right now, as we're looking at great season last year, we want to build, but it starts with week one. And obviously, you were brought here to turn it around in 2017. I mean, you've been able to do that. You were given a contract extension in the offseason because of that. How does that feel going into this new season with a contract extension? You know, really, again, the same thing. You know, as a coach, you're all focused about, you know, how, what do we do today? What do we do to get better today? What are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? How do we play on our strengths and continue to improve our weaknesses? And that's what I focus on. I don't focus on the big picture at all. That's the way to get to where you want to be. You just focus on the day-to-day -day task, which is our 1-0 philosophy that we have. Gavin, you had your best season as a, as a collegiate last year, uh, leading the team you know, to the New Mexico Bowl, but I would ha have to imagine your last memory you know, on the field, maybe not your favorite memory as a UTEP minor. How has maybe that New Mexico Bowl been driving you in the offseason to get a little better? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of motivation, um, you know, just not for myself, but for um, our team, and you know, it's been a lot of it's a, I mean, I've had a lot of goals that I think that I've accomplished in this offseason and, you know, and taking care of the ball is one of them. And so, uh, you know, I just, it's an extremely motivating um, scene is what happened in last time we played and we're, we're excited to get out there for week zero. You're wearing that number two with Luke Laufenberg's name on the back. I know you never really got a chance to play with him, but in the stories that you've heard and how Justin Garrett kind of carried his legacy last year, why is it important to you to be wearing that number this year? You know, it's extremely important to me, um, you know, just not, not only on the field, but off the field and how I carry myself and making sure that, you know, I'm being extremely disciplined in my life and, um, you know, it, carrying on his legacy and um, in his um, father's legacy as well and just you know really representing that family as a whole. You lose Justin Garrett, Jacob Cowing, but you guys are bringing in some pretty awesome you know weapons for you offensively. How can this year's offense maybe be even more dynamic than last year? You know I think that we have a lot of uh, a lot of depth um, this year at the receiver position. You know we, we've added some pieces and um, you know I think that uh, we have a, a, a bunch of guys that can go, and so it's going to be exciting. And um, I mean, we're excited as well for like our running backs, and you know, we have a lot of of our alignment coming back as well. So I mean, we have a lot of experience, and but we also have a lot of new guys as well that can come in and make plays. Coach, you've always wanted to be a, a balanced offense. That's going back to your Kansas State days. But with this guy's arm, I mean, it's you've said it's one of the strongest arms that you've had a chance to coach at the quarterback position. How can he maybe lead your offense in a way that maybe you haven't had a quarterback do uh, at UTEP? What's really nice about our offense, Colin, is it can scratch where it itches, which means we have a, a broad enough package that we can work whatever our strengths are. And so the strengths of this year's football team, each football team finds its new identity. Last year, our football team found a certain identity offensively, and we worked to that. And so we'll do that again this year. You know, uh, we throw the ball you know, extremely well, and I like the way we throw the ball. So we got a good offensive line. They're good at pass protection. They're athletic, but they've also made a lot of effort to get better in the run game. So we'll just see how camp goes. We'll see what we're doing best, and then it's our job to get our best stuff out on the field. Defensively, I think you have as talented of, of a defense as maybe you've had at UTEP, bringing so many guys back. Um, what are you expecting from your defense this year? We're expecting a lot out of our defense, you know, again, with the 1-0 and o mentality, you know, what are we going to do today to get ourselves better? But we felt like we've really added some positive pieces to the defense as well. We didn't sit pat, you know, we lost some secondary players to the defense, but we didn't uh, sit pat at all. We went out and got added a lot more depth and a lot more talent to our defensive side of the football, so we feel really comfortable that we have good depth. That's one of our strengths on defense is it just not our front, you know, front seven or our starting 11, but it's our, you know, our 22, our 25, our 30 quality players, maybe even more on defense. So I'm really excited to watch those guys play this year. UTEP Miners head coach Dana Dimmel, quarterback Gavin Hardison off of the best season since 2014 for the Miners, trying to build upon that. They open the season August 27th versus North Texas. They're trying to sell out the Sun Bowl, part of the 915 initiative, UTEP Athletics. Guys, thanks for joining us today.